Whew. Libra. Got quite an intense energy coming off of this reading here, Libra, but let's start with my intro. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. This is the Spirit Font, guys. I do apologize for posting really, really late. I know I'm quite delayed this month, but I have been working on a website that's taken a little bit more time and effort than expected, but I'm actually really, really proud of this website and I cannot wait for you guys to check it out. It will be launching in the next couple of days. As soon as it does, I'll give you the details and I would love to see you over there uh, but yeah that's about it for me and why I'm a little bit delayed let's get back into your energies Libra use some of your intuition as always and yeah let's get into it wow. hmm. now, like I said when I opened up your reading here Libra there's actually a very intense energy um, surrounding this reading but I'm not 100% sure if this intensity is necessarily coming off of you. I do kind of pick up that right now. There could be someone who has been thinking so deeply about you and thinking so much about you that it's kind of coming across as this intense energy. But the reason that I feel like this person's stuck in this cycle of thinking about you is because right now there does seem to be some sort of tension going on between the two of you. In fact, with that Ten of Swords and the Moon, there could be a group of you where it's beyond tension at this point that ten of swords could be a clear indication that you've either chosen to break up with this person pull your energy away from this person at the very least there's been a detaching of energies from one side or both sides okay i'm not 100 percent sure why libra i feel like you're the one that's pulling your energy away i don't think that it's the easiest decision as i can see in that ten of swords that at some point you did see a lot of potential in this connection if it's not seeing a lot of potential there's an energy of putting a lot of effort into this connection so i don't know if this was a long-term relationship but there's something very disappointing about the fact that you've had to walk away from this person but looking at the five of swords and the seven of swords i kind of understand why you've had to walk away this is someone who ultimately either broke your trust or essentially made a decision that went against the flow of this connection there is also something in these swords that's making me feel like there could be a small group of you where there was like quite literally a blowout fight like where words were exchanged between the two of you and now your person's really regretting some of the things that they said but i just feel like there's some sort of action or inaction that your person right now kind of wishes that they could turn back the hands of time and take back okay so possibly that's where all of this intense energy is coming from um this is someone who currently is not happy with the state of this connection but beyond that there's also regret which is a very heavy energy libra it's one thing to lose someone because they make a bad decision it's another thing to lose someone because you're the one that's made a bad decision so i do feel that right now your person could be going through a lot of I don't know this intense energy with these swords could be anxiety possibly sleepless nights I just feel like this is someone who's really struggling to come to terms with the fact that they've either lost you pushed you away or could have said something to you that they truly can't themselves believe that they said okay so yeah oh it's a bit of a heavy energy here Libra um I do feel a bit of this heaviness coming from both sides I have to be honest I feel like your person's going through this mental anxiety due to their own regrets but i think you and as an individual too are going through a little bit of a difficult time right now emotionally due to whatever this person has done said or put on you okay i don't think it's been the easiest break from this person like i said before there's definitely some emotion that's been poured into this connection and i feel like you've been kind of been given no choice but to leave uh, very i'm so sorry libra if any of this is resonating if anything the universe is telling you that it's proud that you've chosen to put yourself first as difficult as the energies are right now the moon is a beautiful indication that one day your head will come through um all of these emotions and you will breathe again okay that's just something that i feel i need to tell a group of you 
That being said, though, Libra, I do get this powerful energy that while you're here in your moon energy, just trying to mend your emotions, I feel like you're not completely... Like this person's not completely done with the cycle um, right now. It's kind of picking up. I'm picking up this energy that this connection is up in the air with the hangman, um, and it's almost kind of like this person's next actions will determine which direction the two of you go. So I do feel like you are pulling your energy away, kind of uh, waiting to see what this person does, waiting to see if they'll come back in to reconcile with you, waiting to see if possibly they might apologize as well. Um, I'm not necessarily seeing those cards right now. What I can tell you is that there is a lot of regret within this person. They don't like the impression that they've left behind. But there's also this energy of wishing that they could take something back. I don't know what that is. I kind of feel like digging in and just clarifying. I also want to kind of pick up on... What's coming in with this person, okay? Because I do feel like they're coming in, but... What's in the communication that they have? Uh, let's get some clarifications, guys. Why is the seven? Ooh, seven of swords, guys. It's been clarified by the hanged man. Ooh, what's this about? This could actually be an indication that there was some... Mm, all right, so this could be for just a small group of you, but I am picking up that unfortunately you've had to actually walk away from this person due to some sort of information, um, something that you are enlightened to about them that ultimately broke your trust, that ultimately crossed all of your boundaries. Unfortunately, looking at the five of wands with the seven of swords, there could be some of you who this person involved a third party, um, another energy that kind of disrupted the two of you. Um, the Seven of Swords can be a little bit sneaky. He can be a little bit of a player. Um, so that could just be for a small group of you. Another group of you, I am seeing, unfortunately, that there was a fight. Um, the two of you have either had a squabble, uh, words were exchanged that really cut deep. And your person's really regretting saying what they said. Okay. Wow. Your person's like, oh, this energy is very difficult to be in, I must say. It's definitely a lot of anxiety, but I'm also just picking up like this person struggling to find happiness right now with the moon. We've got two moons here. It's like almost like, I don't want to say depression, but definitely a mild depression is what this person's kind of experiencing. Um, they are definitely missing you. This is someone who is feeling really lonely, but I also feel like in the loneliness, when this person's alone, um, they just get overwhelmed with the thoughts, okay? So I kind of feel like this is someone who's kind of been stuck in a spiral, like I said before. Um, oof. I really don't, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with your person here, guys. It's not the healthiest way to process. Yeah, this person's not processing this breakup in the healthiest manner. Not in the same way that you are. I do feel that both, both energies, yours and theirs, this breakup has struck both of you quite like it's it's hit you very difficult it's very difficult for both of you i hope i'm making sense but there's an energy within you where you are actually mending and healing whereas your person's kind of stuck in this energy of um their thoughts are very unhealthy they're very pessimistic so someone who's saying some very bad things to themselves because they're kicking themselves so much for losing you okay um, i don't like the energy that your person's currently in but hopefully they figure it out okay hopefully they figure it out very melancholic that's the word um very depressed a little bit depressive someone could be throwing themselves a mini pity party something that i'm getting here um instead of just facing and taking accountability for what they've done um i don't know i don't want to be too heavy on this person okay yeah but this breakup is actually they're not processing it well Ooh, look at this wow Damn. 
I'm really starting to get a little bit concerned about this person, guys. Um, this is someone who's truly struggling to leave the house, struggling to just do the bare minimum, um, carry their responsibilities, even go to work. I'm even seeing someone who's not even getting out of bed to bath, okay? Um, a very depressed energy. This person really hates um ruining this connection beyond hating ruining this connection there's this heavy energy of guilt guys guilt is one of the heaviest energies a person can go through especially when it comes to relationships because you're not just processing the breakup you're not just processing the loss you're processing the fact that you've lost something because of you and i feel like that's all that this person can actually think of experience it's like every thought brings them back to that moment when they lost you does that make sense guys it's a very heavy energy very dark energy as well i'm not i'm not saying um message this person and check on them because i do feel like hey if, if they've caused these swords they need to kind of experience the swords but i just feel like this reading is letting you know that whatever you're going through, whatever you're feeling, it's 10 times worse on the other side because there's guilt involved, okay? Ooh. All right, so let's see what the moon is about. I do feel like this is that duality, that like that dual energy where it's your energy on this side and their energy on the other side. You're both experiencing this loss. Um, you're both experiencing in a very difficult way. But as you can see, you're experiencing it as this white wolf where you're choosing to go within and heal from a spiritual way where your person's going within a darker space where they are blaming themselves, um, kind of blaming the universe universe blaming everyone it's just this very negative spiral that they're in um i don't know i hope that that's making sense but that's what i'm picking up on here is that your energy just feels very different i don't know yeah your person just feels really wow okay so your energies are very different okay here you are on the side as the queen of pentacles you've chosen to pull away from this person not because you want to but because ultimately you have to to value yourself you had to pull away from this person with that queen of pentacles and because of the actions that they took they feel like a fool um this person feels silly immature stupid dare i say uh but whatever their actions were they were very irresponsible and almost immature is something i'm getting once again uh they regret it so much regret so much regret guys i will tell you that much okay there's definite regret here it's not like someone hurt you and then just turned around and went in a different direction no this person's struggling to let go of whatever's gone down between the two of you. They're stuck, you know, with the hangman. Oh, goodness, this person's energy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this person's energy, guys. It's like they're really heartbroken because they broke your heart. They're really heartbroken over a decision that they've made. They're really heartbroken for creating all of this discourse between the two of you, all of this chaos in what feels like what once was a very healthy, positive relationship. Your person allowed a very negative influence to kind of just der derail you guys. And I think that's where this heaviness is coming from. It's just the this person is just struggling to process what they've done, okay? I can't tell you how heavy this person's energies are. I do hope that they pull themselves out of this soon. Because I don't think that you're going to be in this moon energy much like forever. Eventually, your head will break out of the water. And you'll possibly move on if this person's still drowning in all of these heavy energies that they're in. So the Hierophant, what's this about? Ooh, wow. Lovers, but I do have to be honest, it came out a little bit in reverse and I'm just going to take it as it came out. Uh, but I do feel that the reason that there's separation right now is ultimately there could have been a commitment that was broken or this is someone who didn't want to commit, okay? 
I feel like ultimately because you are looking for something more serious or this also could be an info at this this energy for a group of you where some sort of unexpected information came through about this person either lying to you or sneaking behind your back or just doing something that really really crossed boundaries broke trust okay but either way i just feel like you're coming to this very powerful energy of knowing where you're going when it comes to love and relationships you're looking for a divine counterpart and i get this energy of you just sitting back and waiting to hear to receive whatever message this person has before you make a decision okay if they come towards you and they apologize and they're serious and they explain um, from a genuine place i do see you being open to possibly reconciling but i do pick up very strongly with these swords that if they don't come towards you correctly you're willing to cut them out completely and keep moving all right so yeah uh, i'm not gonna tell you what to do here um I'm not even 100% sure what's gone down. If this was cheating, then I would say possibly keep going. But if someone maybe just made a really silly, foolish decision, said something to you that they said kind of like out of anger, then maybe you can revisit the situation, you know? But always put yourself and your value first, I guess. Anything else? I kind of just want to do one more shuffle. Mm, definitely look at that falling directly on the moon so yeah i don't want to repeat myself but it's just that energy of you knowing your value you know your worth keep that value keep those boundaries and you just might get your wish fulfillment in this connection at the very least i just feel like your person needs to heal um before they can come in and heal the connection you know what i'm saying they just need to heal as an individual maybe forgive themselves for having pushed you away and then they can come in and ask you for forgiveness All right your grounding energy is rescue but it's come out in reverse so ugh, let's see what that's about when a car comes out in reverse i tend to take it in reverse um so yeah let's see are you trying to rescue another hmm do you believe your love can change someone or miraculously heal a person? Are you wait or are you waiting to be rescued? Whoa. Do you believe that someone will sweep you off your feet and take away all of your troubles? Reversed, the rescue card cautions you against romanticizing your situation right now. Look closely and see reality as it is rather than the illusion of how you'd like it to be. You need to step back and rescue yourself. Whoa. Trust that spirit will guide you to expose the illusions so that you may discern the difference between truth and fantasy. What? That is so intense, guys whoa i feel like that kind of sums up the reading perfectly like um especially for those of you who have truly been either betrayed or really hurt or shocked by this person um as much as you if you do want them to reconcile whatever the case is right now your focus just needs to be on healing heal yourself focus on yourself detach your energy as much as you can from this person and also don't be messaging them trying to rescue them from all of this anxiety that they've put themselves in um, and also don't romanticize the situation okay um, if your gut tells you things aren't right when this person comes back in trust that okay um yeah i just feel like for some of you if this person's shown their their true colors then they've shown their true colors okay i don't want to tell you what to do you know what to do um that rescue card just hit me very very like whoa but hey, it came out for a reason and it was in reverse for a reason. So I hope that this reading has resonated, guys. Please remember to check out the website. Um, readings will be 40% off when I launch. So go check that out. Love you.